So today we're going to go over some more tips for Hunt Showdown 1896. Some of these tips will be a bit more basic, some of them you may not know, but do let me know in the comment section below. We're going to go over loadouts today. I'm going to equip a character here quickly, and uh, I just press C to the quick menu here, and we're going to maybe hire the carcass gun running here. And when we hire one of our hunters, it should usually take us to our loadout screen here. We can see we can change our health, we can modify our traits. So if we wanted to change these traits, say if we didn't want to run something with a scope uh, to keep steady aim and we didn't, weren't too bothered about beast phase because we're quite good with the monsters, or you want to keep beast phase maybe, but we'll, we'll go in there anyway. So if we click just a trait, it will highlight that trait automatically. And if we press enter and enter again, it'll remove that trait. And this is the quickest way I found of doing it on PC. So we can remove those traits we don't want on that one screen. And that gives us eight points back. And what I would recommend going, which is, has been recommended to me since the very start of Hunt, is you want Resilience, uh, which will give you uh, full health on a revive. So if you're playing with a team and they revive you, you won't have one bar, you'll have full bars if you get this one. You want Doctor, so that doubles the amount of health restored by a first aid kit. And I haven't got it unlocked because I'm not long prestiged, but you want Physician as well, reduces the time needed to bandage. So when you're wounded in the line of battle, it doesn't take you so long to bandage yourself. So those three, if you've got them unlocked, are, are the primary three you want to use. And the other ones you want to use really uh, is Necromancer. Now this has changed since the older version of Hunt, whereas now it's a burn trait and it's only used once. Once it's used, it's gone and you have to acquire it again. Um, but you can revive a teammate from a distance of 25 meters uh, maximum. And you can also revive yourself if you're solo. But once you've used it, it's gone and you can't do it again. The next one will be Vulture. Uh, this one I recommend if you're low on money because the old way Vulture used to work was if you had this, you could loot any hunter as long as you had space in your inventory. Now, everybody can loot every hunter by default, but now you're guaranteed to always get a reward uh, of money uh, with Vulture. So you can just keep stacking up money with you looting all the dead hunters. And probably for this map, I always try and go south skin for reduced uh, burning, uh, maybe bloodless and uh, Mithridis for anti-poison. It depends, because sometimes the game adds challenges where you've got to get damage with poison bullets on hunters. So if you know that week, specifically, you might be getting shot a lot with poison bullets, uh, you want to be running Mithridis to recover from poisoning quicker. And then if they add a challenge the following week where you've got to get fire damage, you want self skin, so that'll protect you a bit more. So you really got to take note of these challenges as well to how you're going to specifically load out your character. And the same thing for bleed. Uh, you know, uh, you want to stop bleeding quicker or stop it from escalating from light to medium or intense bleeding. So that's the basics for traits that you might want to load up. Uh, for me now, I'm just going to grab Necro because this is my basics. I always get Necro. And then if I've only got one point left, I might get Kite Skin, which reduces fall damage because I like to jump about off heights and things and get into the action. So this is generally where I try and aim until I've got other stuff or enough points, then I'll get Doctor uh, and the other ones that I recommended earlier. Uh, physician and resilience and then all these others that i like to use but they're the main ones i like to use obviously it depends on your loadout you're going to use so if you have a weapon that always loses a bullet you want bullet grubber and that'll make you not lose those bullets or if you're using bows you want 100 hands so you can mix it up with whatever your loadout is always check all of these and what they do and it can and suit you a little bit better for what your particular weapon loadout might be right we're going to do a quick loadout now so what i like to do is create loadouts and you can save loadouts in this little button here and it's super handy so i've prestige not long ago so i can't use some of these because i've not unlocked that weapon yet but we can untick this and untick this and just tick these two and we can see i don't have that unlocked yet the spear so i will only get those items if i double click this also don't forget once you've successfully extracted with your hunter and you may have used your consumables you can just go into this loadout again, untick those boxes, just leaving the consumable box ticked, and then double click that loadout, and it will just put those tools back without you having to individually add them to your character. It will only give me the items I've, I, I actually own or have got unlocked. So generally, if I just want to load my tools and consumables up, I'll click those two, double click, it will leave my weapons spare and free, which I'll show you in a second, but it will fill my tool slots and my consumables with what I regularly use. And... I want to give you this as an example because I see a lot of new players uh, specifically that don't really have 
uh, a good setup in there's consumables and tools you want an, a good amount of um heal items as well as something you know a bit more offensive uh, like a dynamite like i've got here a cheap dynamite and obviously you want something that can take care of all kinds of creatures so i've got a stabby punchy knife knuckle knife so i can punch immolators and then hold stab to take out uh hives and things like that which it, it does two jobs and then I have my, my med kits, and then I have my smoke bombs, which are good to put out fires or poison clouds, or your teammates that are being burnt. You want to use these all the time, so I keep those equipped. Uh, what I'll do now is load one of these that I've got, which is my new loadout that I use, which is loadout 4, and we'll get these in because I, I have all of these. This is one I've set up since I've prestige. So this is another thing. You probably want to set another one of these up when you do prestige because you won't have certain weapons or, or tools or consumables unlocked so you, i'm going to teach you how to use this so if i now double click with those two unticked these two boxes it won't equip those two weapons but it will equip because i've got those two boxes ticked and all you do is click there and it tells you the total cost correlating to your hunt dollars and then i double click loadout four which you can rename as well but i just leave them as they are and then it puts those in my loadout so i like to keep my knuckles on three so my primary is on one secondary is on two melee on three so it's quick for my finger to get to from wasd and then i take the penny shot derringer with me because that's uh, really good at chunking some of the bosses and it's a good backup if i run out of ammo with my my two main guns then i have my my med kit because that doesn't matter so much getting too quick if you need it like you'd want to go to your melee quick to punch a zombie in the face or something like that so I keep that on three, so it's a quick, easy reach. And then smoke bombs there, so I can scroll to that quickly and throw it on a teammate or put up some poison that's blocking my way or something like that. And then in the consumables, I have my regeneration slot shot. I do like to use the large one because I've pressed these. I've not unlocked it yet, so I've got the small one on me at the moment. And that will heal you for uh, four minutes, I believe, something like that. For the small shot, the big shot's nine minutes or ten minutes, something like that. They're really useful. I like to pop one of these as soon as I first get damaged by players in a fight and then i'll pop that and then i'll continuously get regen slowly over time i also take two vitality shots and i always only take the weak ones um because i'm getting that anyway so this will just top me up a little bit and then get my health the rest of the way with vitality while i'm running around and hiding and changing my position and then take a dynamite or a poison bomb or you know whatever you fancy taking really i usually take a little dynamite just so i can throw it through a window quickly if uh, people are camping too much and clear the room uh, really nicely of course, you can switch any one of these individually and switch that particular item out. Uh, so you say you might want to take the new bear traps and we just double click that and it should replace that one item. So down to weapons now. This is pretty much down to your preference, what weapons you like. But this this is a tip. This is what, what I do if you're, especially if you're a new player, you've not got a lot of money. So I'm kind of okay at the moment. It's not the best, but you know, I don't want to die too much. I'm going to lose that quite a lot if i'm buying expensive weapons so what you want to do is have a favorites now you can have some of your favorite weapons on there some some weapons you really like or i uh, generally go for the cheaper weapons so if i'm doing poorly and i'm starting to lose a lot of money i get the 24 hundred dollar weapons the 55 for the conversion crossbow for 50 and uh, the good old springfield there for 38 and you can do cheap loadouts this way uh, how you add some favorites is by the little star here. So if I go and find another cheapish weapon, uh, let's have a look. What do we got? Something nice that I can add because it's not a very big list I've got there of cheap weapons. The Vandal. There we go. Have I even got a skin for that? No, I haven't. Okay. So now I've added the Vandal there. If I press favorites, scroll up a little bit, uh, there it is. So that's now in my favorites if I want to take a, a short uh, lever action rifle. Uh, I do like the spark, so that's why that's in here. It's not necessarily the cheapest, but it's not definitely not the most expensive uh, single shot rifle. But I do like it for its power. Um, just got to make sure you don't miss those important shots. Same with the Springfield cheap weapon, but it's a single shot rifle, and you got to make sure you those shots matter. They count. And then uh, yeah, so I can just mix and match. And when I'm doing well, obviously this this list I won't use this list, and I'll go in here and I'll find whatever I want for whatever price, and I might treat myself and go for a slate or something like that, or uh, a bit more of a spicy rifle that's a bit more more pricey or something like that but basically 
once uh once i've got some weapons so let's say i want to go let's go with a black widow 600 there we go let's get a black widow and we go for a nice expensive pistola uh let's go for a dolch so once i've got those and we can see my money's gone down a bit i want to save this loadout because i quite like these in the last game we won it so I want to keep this loadout. I like this loadout. So let's click on that loadout button again. Let's find one of these that we don't want to overwrite. And we maybe click this one and overwrite this one. So how we overwrite this one, it says down there, F, copy equipped loadout here. But it doesn't really tell you clearly how you do that. Uh, but it's actually hold F. So if we click that there, and then we make sure we tick all these, because it's going to only replace and overwrite what we've actually got ticked. So I'm going to press that and then press and hold F hear the sound effect this message will pop up do you want to overwrite yes and there we go and then when we want that loadout again we just double click with all these ticked and that will all go back on our new hunter and that saves you a hell of a lot of time with uh you know getting all your gear and your character set back up i play with quite a lot of people and some people take a little while to get set up and i'm 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 not sure obviously i don't see their screen so i'm not sure if they're doing it the long way or they're doing it this way once you've got a few of these set up and I've got quite a few. I've just not got the, the gear unlocked because I prestiged. You can just go crazy with whatever you fancy that that round and mix it up a little bit or, you know, build a loadout for that week's challenges. If you needed poison ammo damage, get some it set up with ammo like I've got there with the FMJs and uh, dum-dums and just, you know, keep doing that loadout over and over again until you get that challenge done. And it's so much of a quicker way. Just make sure you tick those and then that's uh, good. We want to go with that loadout. So I'm going to double click this now and it's going to change my weapons to these because I've ticked these. Bam. There we go. And I'm ready to go. Once you've done your traits, your health, maybe I want all small health this time. Uh, it doesn't really matter on solo uh, because you can only use Necro once now, as I said earlier. So when you die, you Necro again. Um, yeah, it's not so drastic as it used to be. Because you can necro as many times as you had chunks. So now people recommend going three big bars as a solo. I did mention this briefly in my last video. I've experimented with three big bars, as I've said, because of the fire boss that's been added, the Hellborn. And because he burns, and he burns these quick, because burning, I think, has been increased as well. So these bars burn real quick. And if you burn a bar away, you've lost that bar permanently until you kill a boss and claim a, to a bounty token and you get your bars back kind of thing. If you're lucky enough to kill the Hellborn quick enough once you've lost a few bars, you'll get all those back. But if you're mid-Hellborn fight and players turn up, you've lost all those chunks. Players are going to be one-shotting you if you're on like 50 health, health or something like that. It's mental. So I go three big bars. I've been experimenting with it a lot anyway, In even in trios, duos, just so I don't get my bars burnt away if we're going for that Hell, Hellborn um, target. Uh, so you can experiment a little bit and see what you like. Um, you could even switch it around, I suppose, and go big bar. Can you even do that? Big bar? No, you can't. You've got to have big bar first. So what? You could, well, how many can you have? So you can have maybe four bars. Make it like that. Big bar for burning. You can stop the burn and keep that first big bar because the burn will last longer. Then little bar, little bar. So you can be revived an extra time by your teammates. Obviously, it won't matter in solo. And then you've got another big bar. Um, yeah, you could do that. I could do that, I suppose. Gives you an extra bit of chunk, doesn't it? Maybe you could mix that in. Uh, experiment. Maybe I'll save that for the next game. We'll experiment a bit more with that. I never thought of that before. And there you go. That's pretty much it. We've got a hunter ready there. We've got our loadout saved, so we can use these again if we fancy uh, this loadout and we got, got on really well with it. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So now we can just go into a game. And test out our hunter and then load what we just saved i hope this helped let me know in the comment section below if you're a new player and this has helped you out and uh or if you're a long time player and you didn't know something and let me know if you've got any more tips in the comment section below and i'll try and make another video with everybody's accumulated tips and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you like the content i create most of all thank you for watching and i'll see you peeps next time